It's a Friday, the 25th of May 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. Here we look at stories making headlines across the country. And to get started with this bulletin from Kampala, the move to Uganda, Sheikh Ramadan Mubaje, has asked Muslims not to give, not to get divided over property. In his Ramadan message delivered by his second deputy, Sheikh Mohammed Ali Waswa, Mubaje said Muslims should learn to resolve property conflicts amicably. It should be noted that a section of Muslim clerics denounced Mubaji in 2018, accusing him of selling off some Muslim properties. The Muslims formed their own administration at Tibuli, which is currently headed by the Supreme of Sheikh Silimani Kasule Ndilangwa. Mubajek has stated the high rate of crime in the country, singling out the growing cases of kidnap, murder, and a demand for ransom. He urged Ugandans to uphold the sanctity of life and respect the dignity of all humans. We move on to Busia district where what happened, what started as a small disagreement between Busia municipality councillors has climaxed into the sacking of the speaker, Julius Omoit. Some Agaba, the district returning officer on Wednesday, co uh, caused a special co council meeting in which 17 out of 21 councillors recalled Omoyit. Moses Kibedi, the youth councillor and also secretary for finance and administration, was elected speaker in a meeting boycotted by Hassan Opie, the mayor, Godfrey Katemba, town clerk, Omoyit, and two other councillors. Agaba called for Kibedi swearing in by the town clerk before assuming office. Agaba said the decision followed a censure petition filed by the councillors. He said his work was to simply preside over the censure and election of the new speaker as directed by the Solicitor General. The councillors accused Omoyid of abuse of office, incompetence, disrespect and forgery, forgery among others. This beautiful Friday has come with your copy of the New Vision and our headlining story today is UPDF Ua named in land grabbing. Also in the New Vision we have a uh, produce manager among it all that is still under the land probe uh, we have a picture here our front picture is president museven meeting the british military officers and uh, yeah we have them here at state house uh, also in the new vision government bans mobile herbalists these ones who you know you always hear them on market and uh, market days so a uh, government has banned uh, mobile herbalists um we have car parking, city councillors reject the proposal. And on our page 8, we have Vision Editor-in-Chief wins Continental Award. That is a really a celebration. Um, moving on inside the new vision, uh, we have Mokona RDC's, RDC calls a DPC to order. And uh, Mufti condemns kidnaps. That is the Muslim section. Uh, in the regional section, we have Tumkunde stairs up Rukunjiri campaigns. And still inside the new vision, probe Tumwine on Nomo Gallery, Kadaga tells MPs. And then Parliament rejects government request to capitalize Bank of Uganda. Yeah, more stories here that you should uh, read when you buy your copy of the new vision. Uh, let's go to uh, the Friday pullout, which is the Harvest Money. Harvest Money is a guide to successful farming, and the headlining story is utilizing 15 acres. This is how Musa Kasoni upgraded from backyard farming to uh, using 15 acres of land. Yes, uh, more in Harvest Money, please uh, read how to harvest and add value to coffee. Yeah, we have the editor's dot here, uh, what to learn from the Netherlands. That is Joshua Kato, he's the editor for the Harvest to Money Pullout. Uh, farmers trained for Netherlands. Story is right here. Moving on, in the new vision, we have the beat. The beat also comes out every Friday. The beat has uh, hands behind the guitar. We have the guitarist here and yeah i see joseph but somewhere yeah we have uh, a story here so uh, get your copy of the new vision and see and read these stories we have those who are behind uh, who is behind that guitar 
That is also a story here to supplement who is behind the guitar. Mm -hmm. Memories of another royal wedding uh, by Kalunji Kabuye, also in the beat. Which royal wedding is the Uganda royal wedding or any other royal wedding in the wild in the world? Um, up and about is also here in the in the beat. So grab your copy today. Uh, the sports docket sports docket headline is the last day. And we have uh, what do we have? Yeah, the last day is here. Inside sports we have striker lead to watch it in his sitting room <laughs> crazy and uh, then the magic of zidane okay. these are stories that you should expect in your copy of the new vision and more remember the copy of the new vision is only two thousand shillings and we are proudly the leading daily before we switch we switch to other stories making headlines across the country we can't forget that every friday we have the kampala sun the kampala sun is only one thousand shillings the headlining story today in the kampala sun is a prophet mbonye state agencies fight over his billions and also we see followers face eviction more in the Kampala Sun, we have gossip. Namere sues uh, Farida over 500 million shillings. And an abomination here MP sleeps at side dishes dad's home. That's a lot to take in. Uh, inside, we have from prison to prison, court gives Kazura two weeks to clear 54 million shilling debt. From prison to prison. Then there is no movement there, you're just in the same place. Now we have the grill, it's time to make babies. Okay, you need to read this. I will not spill the beans. Then Pastor Kayanj on the spot, over 5 billion youth fund. Mm -hmm. Let us look at uh, the death, the celebrity death match. Uh, we have uh, someone got 20% here and then uh, someone got 80 <laughs> percent i will not say who they are but what i have to tell you is that they're actresses so who do you think they are the new vision has the story uh, the kampala sun sorry has the story and then also what you should not miss in the kampala sun today is prince harry's sins prince harry got married last saturday to Meghan markle they are now the duke and duchess of Sussex. Get more stories in the Kampala Sun. The Kampala Sun is just 1,000 shillings and we say the sun rises on, sat on Friday. Uh, let us continue looking at other stories making headlines across the country and let's go to Rukunjiri district where Elizabeth Rachtonera, an independent candidate, has pulled out of the Rukunjiri woman parliamentary by elections in favor of the NRM flag bearer Win Winfred Matsko. Rachtonera cancelled her candidature just seven days to the polling the leaving five candidates in the race. She says she didn't know she did it for the good of NRM on the advice of the former security minister Henry Tumukunde. In a letter addressed to the NRM Secretary General, Rachtonera says she had withdrawn on condition that she gets a refund of 30 million shillings already spent on the campaigns and a scholarship for her master's degree course and for support of the same seat in 2021. She said she has been a strong supporter of NRM, but along the way she got misunderstandings with its leadership, saying they had put their differences aside. Rachtonera said Tomokonde has fulfilled part of the conditions she had set, hoping that others would also be fulfilled in your course. Finally, from Nebi District, the National Resistance Movement Electoral Commission has announced the postponement of the party primaries to choose the party flag bearers for Nebi municipality elections. The primaries had been slated for today. The announcement was made by Melik Kakuru, the Nebi District NRM Registrar, on a Rua One radio station yesterday. Kakura, however, did not state the reason for the postponement of the elections. He said the development had not, had not only affected um, Nebi municipality. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video. I am Rathi Nasaje.